بتونس بيك وانت معايا بتونس بيك وبلاقي في قربك دنيايا بتونس بيك وانت معايا بتونس بيك Hi everybody, today I'm going to do another Arab inspired makeup tutorial. Now this is a look that I basically took a picture from an Arab makeup and I just copied it. I just used different colors for it. Um, I might try and put the, pink, the picture on the side if you want to have a look at the original picture that I used. Um, and of course I am wearing a headdress. Now um, this is just for fun. I just thought it would be, you know, fun to do a sort of a heading, head headdress for an Arab tutorial. Now I know not all Arab women wear um, scarves on their head but I thought I would try it out. So um, so yeah that, that's the look I'll be doing and um, this is all very inexpensive makeup that I used so that's that's gonna be cool and if you want to see pictures of this look I'm going to have them posted on my blog and I'll also list the products I used and yeah that's it so I hope you enjoy this very dramatic look and stay tuned. So I first applied Urban Decay Primer Potion from the lid all the way up to the brow and then also just on the outer corner I've applied a piece of tape that's to give a sharp outer edge and I've applied um, loose powder underneath just to catch any fallout. Now the first color that I'm going to grab from the 88 palette is the plain straight up black color so that's, ah, that's the first one that I'm going to use. I'm going to just get a flat shader brush. This is the MAC 239. Alright so you just start applying this. now. I want to work this from the tape inwards and I'm basically applying it on that very outer corner first. Just dabbing so you get a nice very smooth color payoff and I'm going to start creating a sort of a sharper angle. And that's where the tape comes in handy because it'll be really easy to do shape like that with that tape. And then once I have sort of less pigment on the brush, then I'm going to just take it in a little bit. I'm not adding any more eyeshadow, I'm just kind of using what's left on the brush. Alright, so once I have the black on, you can always go back later and just add a bit more. So I just want to get a little bit on first. So then I'm going to just flip that brush around, use the other side, and I'm going to grab this purple. It's um, one, two, three, the fourth one in from the black. Alright, and now this is going to go sort of in that middle area over the black. And then I'm just going to keep putting it in. So it looks like that now. Now it's all totally not blended. That's fine. Don't worry. Because now I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the 217 and just, just blend it a little bit. I'm not really blending it a lot yet. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just get that 217. And then I'm going to take this very bright pink color. This is one, two, three, four, five in from the black side and then three up. All right, so that's that kind of hot pink shade. And I'm going to get a little bit of that on the 217, just tap it off, I don't want too much. And I'm going to start applying this just on the outer corner, just above the black. And then it's just a matter of blending in where those two colors meet. I like to do little circles right where the lines meet. Now the highlight is not going to be on the outer part. The highlight is just going to be right in here. So you can take that pink almost pretty much up to the brow on the outer corner. All right, so once that's blended, um, then I'm going to take this, um, it's this color. This is the fourth one in. 
And I'm going to grab the, this is the 224 because it's just a much softer brush. Um, and I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that one. And I'm going to place that right on the top and sort of going in. So it's just going to soften because this is a very light pink. You see it already kind of is softening those colors. For the highlight, I mixed a little bit of this very white one with this very light yellow so that you get kind of like an off-white um, shimmering. So, but more white, just dip it a little bit in the white and then just get a little bit of the yellow on. And that one is gonna go right here. Just, I'm not gonna take it all the way out here. I'm just going to concentrate this sort of on the inner part because it's gonna go sort of right underneath the arch. And then you can just take a little bit of that and just run it down here. At this point you want to start doing the liner. Now I have an angle here and then it kind of goes like this. And it doesn't go all the way in so that just makes it look a bit more interesting. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Carbon, um, L'Oreal Carbon Gloss Super Liner. Oh, this is kind of the hard part now. <laughs> Alright, so I finished the liner and then this part is really hard because also I have some, I have this fold right here so actually my eye shape is not good for this kind of liner. So it's not quite even but it's just, it's really hard to do this so you can practice with that. Anyhow, so now I finished the liner on the bottom so now what I'm going to do is take, you're going to need two tools for this. You're going to need a very sharp angle liner and just a white eye pencil. All right, so I'm going to do the outer part first. So what I want to do is fill this in with white. So All right, so once you have a bit of white, then you can just take your angle brush and just kind of pull it out or you can just use a bit of the white eyeliner and just put it on the angle brush. That works really well too. And I'm just using a white Kajal pencil from Maybelline. And then you want to do the same thing on the inner part. Okay, and then you can just go over that part um, with a just a white eyeshadow. It's just going to set the line that you made. And you can just blend it out. And now I'm just going to finish up the liner on the top line. <laughs> Baby, I'm not 
And on the inner part, you just want to extend it down a bit. Just like that. All right, now I just defined my brow. If you want to know how I do that, go check out my eyebrow tutorial. I showed in detail there. Um, for the final part, I'm going to just do the waterline. Now I'm going to use a bit of a black gel eyeliner and I'm going to just get that on a brush and now I'm just going to apply that to the waterline and I'm only going to apply it as far as the um, as that eyeliner goes. I'm not going to put the black all the way on the inner part. And then on the um, waterline on the inner part, I'm going to apply that white pencil. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to apply false lashes. All right, and that's the finished look. Now I wrap my hair up in this really funny or fun way. And um, I just thought that this would be, you know, kind of going along with the Arab theme and I know that not all Arab women cover their hair but I was on YouTube and I saw this girl make a tutorial for how to do this head wrap so I thought I would try it out and I thought it would be great for this look so um, I'll put the link to that tutorial on the side if you do want to check it out so this is the finished look obviously as you can tell now I just um, basically I just applied blush and I used the 28 blush palette for that now I used these two this, sorry, this one and this one. So I applied those for blush. On my lips I'm wearing Mix Lipstick in the shade Georgia and then just a clear lip gloss on top by MAC, just the clear one, um, just to make it really shiny. So, um, so yeah, that's the finished look. And I do think it looks pretty Arabic. I really like this. I mean, it's obviously very dramatic, but um, I did go after a picture for this. So, um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this look. <laughs> and um, I'll put the, the link on the side to my blog. I'll have pictures there. And I'll have a breakdown of all the products I use that you can go check out. So I hope you enjoyed that very dramatic Arab tutorial. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.